What if Naruto was the summoning king? Right now you're sitting on my wallet. <laughs> I don't know why I added that in, but okay. You might be hearing some yelling in the background with my mom and sister because they're freaking hyenas. They laugh too much. And people think I'm probably mean, but my family is a bunch of hyenas. Even my dog. And yes, I could I scared. I as a sitter, oh my god, y you know what I mean, my dogs to be family. Because I love my puppies, I love my kittens, and I love my animals. And I would rather go save my animals than anybody else in my family. Maybe not, I I'll save a few, but like, if I see the kittens first, I'm going to pick them up. If I see my dog laying down, bro, I'm about to football player like break through a wall and stuff. So yeah. This is yeah, so he did the training. I'm not sure if I did the I don't think so because I did go on talking about random stuff at the end and all that. And I was talking about cards. I kinda confused myself. <laughs> but yeah. So if I did do the um what's it called? The matches and if it's like was different then yeah but yeah this time it is Naruto versus Neji's sister and Neji wait not Neji but Gara's sister and Neji versus Shikamaru and so, so I'm gonna say Shikamaru because his father like forced him to be stronger because I'm pretty sure his father and them didn't even like the the Nine Tails Sprite because technically they were friends of Minato but I don't think they knew about it. So I would say they did hate him. So I'm gonna say they told him to train because of the Nine Tails Wait, he wasn't in the world, so okay, scratch that. But he's stronger in this and stuff. So I'm just gonna say that. Yeah. When they're fighting, even if it was like, you know what? He's practically the same, actually. Nothing really changed. It's just he never used the jutsu in, the, in that tournament, I guess. Take out mankind with landmine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was thinking of Kotsky rap. Because that's an amazing one. I swear to God, they keep on changing my freaking guns. And. I don't like using um, machine guns. I like using my one pull a trigger and shoot. I really just use rifles half the time. Take out man time. But yeah. So where they start the matches, it is Garo, Garo's sister versus Naruto. And how it's gonna start is that whenever she tries to attack Naruto, Naruto summons um his summoning animals. This is what I'm choosing. And he summons um, bird types pretty much. Sorry if I'm saying types a lot. But yeah, so he's summons bird types pretty much and he the birds kind of glide on the wind kind of how um Goku glided on a keyboard with his tummy on the home but they glide through the wind and they shoot their feathers at her going into her because I'm gonna say they're really sharp because <laughs> then she says done with this and she activates her like full power I guess you can call it. I'm not sure what you should call it. But yeah. But she activates the wind again at full max power I guess. And this causes a whole bunch of wind and I'm gonna say he's not from back. And he says whatever. Wow. Concentrated chakra into his fist. 
for her, she goes to do that wind attack. She, she strikes the ground, sending rocks in the air. With and whenever that happens, they get sucked up. No, not sending rocks in the air, but like shooting a rock upwards, blocking the attack. With like you know blocking them pretty much and then she's like what and he charges up pretty much it's not a sonati punch it's its own version it's pretty much a rock paper scissors from hunter hunter and you can see his fist starts blowing And yeah, and whenever he punches the rock, it sends them flying so fast. And this hits her even through the wind, cutting her up and winning that match. And so, and Sasuke sent a clone because I'm gonna say Sasuke was jealous because Naruto could like use these clones, making them even stronger. Because I'm gonna say they sparked once and. Sasuke could barely touch him in that damage that he, only enough damage to pop a weak clone with barely any chakra holding it together. So yeah. So Sasuke, I'm gonna make him a little stronger in this. I'm gonna say because I did give him that half curse mark. And I'm gonna make make him what what just happened? Okay, so okay, I think my flight station messed up. Yeah, it was just like my PlayStation has this button on the bottom, wherever it sits on the button, um, it starts activating this thing, and it did it again, and now it's shooting out the disc a lot. So I'm gonna turn it off real quick, and so yeah, a nudgy fight happens, and it gets. Oh yeah, that's the wrong controller, I'm so confused. But yeah, the Neji fight happens, and pretty much what happens is that he used the... Why is this not working? He uses the Shadow Possession Jutsu. Honestly, he shoots it out. Well, Neji can't really fight close range. He can only fight cross range except throwing knives, but I'm gonna say what he does, he says the um so strangle jutsu, turning them into like blades shooting upwards and catching the knives and then whenever that happens and stuff, so that you get chased around the place and plus I'm gonna say he was the fourth match. And I'll make the left match scar on him, causing him to um, have more time to get the shadow across the place. So Neji hasn't noticed this until he sees Chaka build up behind him. With the shadow behind him coming and closing around him, capturing him. And then what he does is because if he was smart enough, he would have put his bag on the opposite side of him. And stuff, making him off to the side of his opponent. Or when the opponent tries to reach for their bag, it would reach to the other side, causing them can't grab a kunai. And he walks close to him, but he knows that Neji can use chakra and all that. And I would say that he can make chakra braids. So he doesn't come too close, and he throws his knife with the proctor stopping it. And the proctor saying that he won. People are amazed. Um, Tension's amazed that he could beat Neji, the ultimate um, guinea. And I'm not sure because the third girl called me, puts out a message to make Naruto a tuning. And then the fight from Gara and him. And because he could steal all the malice from Gara. I'll say Sasuke uses his chakra. And 
I'm gonna say he can make two black eyes, and that's his, and his he can make that little scar appear on his face, and he can. I'm gonna say because he did learn the snake, and he says he he has long sleeves, and he says shadow snakes, sin snakes. While Gar's defense is holding them off, but I'm gonna say these are poison snakes, and whenever it bites the sand, it starts turning the sand purple, turning them into poison. Anything it touches will poison except the user. Cigar so like shoots the sand off and stuff. And now Gar is using um, the and he figures out that it is poison. It's not deadly poison, I'm gonna say it's like weakened poison. So that whatever Gar does his defense shield on his body because he can punch through it. Um you no, know, he does that little thing, but then um, Sasuke sends out his shadow snakes to bite all the things that are about to stab him with him with the Chidori. And he says, spread shadow snake Chidori with the Chidori spreading into different spots with him pulsing a whole bunch of chakra into it from the curse mark or the half curse mark. Um, causing him to, to, um, shoot straight, making regular Chidori's in the Shadow Snake's mouth. And then that happens, and this tears through Garo's defense instantly. With him coming up to Garo, Garo taking his, going into his shoulder and dragging it across his chest into his other shoulder, causing major damage to be done and Gar freaks out and starts screaming I'm gonna kill you mother help me feed him well sand starts peering on his arms turning them to Chicago arms and then taking them off because he passed out taking him off to the forest while um, Kagashi says tells then Sasuke runs off, and then Naruto, um, Sakura, and, um, what's that dude's name? I have to call her that name. What's that dude's name? Do you guys know? It's Shikamaru. And so, I'm gonna say Choji. No, Sasuke would be asleep. He did get out of the hospital. Um, let me see. Um, because, yeah, it's just the same. You know, they leave Sakura behind. Because I don't say Asuna was there. So we took Asuna to take those two with him. Three man squad. Because Sakura would be a nuisance in this. Uh, in this. So yeah, they go off. And, and then they get to the track. And I'm going to say Asuna goes back instead. And then the dude with the bugs take down that one dude. But the girl with the wind, I'm gonna say, um, because it is a forest, so. What's this dude's name? Oh my god. I keep on forgetting it. But you know, Shadow Possession dude, he like creeps up behind her and does a strangle jutsu. And he starts talking smarts and stuff. And Naruto catches up with Sasuke, Sasuke, and that'll be the end of this video. Goodbye.